Her favorite colors are pink, purple, baby blue, and yellow. So many colors to pick from. My beautiful princess will be so surprised. I'm her boyfriend. But she is not yet aware of that fact. She arrived last month. We've been getting to know each other really well since then. As expected, she was really sad when she got here. I managed to make her happy. I'll put a smile on her face every chance I get. She is so strong. But I have to be there for her for the expected weak moments. I whisper words of encouragement in her ear. I hold her hands. Those soft, delicate hands. I can't wait to hold her in my arms. As my official girlfriend, Not just my fantasy girl. My hands were made to hold her, to cradle and cuddle her, to rock her, to stroke her lovely face and wipe away any tears. I dream of planting sweet kisses on her cheeks and kissing her hands. I don't think she knows how much time we actually spend together. Our conversations get so deep, she falls asleep on me sometimes. Cancer makes her tired a lot of the time. And sometimes, she sleeps for long periods of time. I am there to protect her. And of course, to make sure nobody takes her away from me. I wonder if she knows that I watch her while she is sleeping. Sometimes, for the entire duration, she's the prettiest sleeper I've ever met. Oh, darling, I'll be there soon. I even watch her when I'm sleeping, as she is always in my dreams. I can't wait to spend our usual quality time together. I love being her caregiver. I cannot ask for a better girlfriend and patient. She just doesn't know how much I love her. We fell in love within the last month. Well, I mean, I... I fell in love with her. Only time will tell if she feels the same. I've already made sure that I'm the only guy tending to her needs. She is mine, and mine only. I'll prove it. 
Hi, beautiful. This is for you. It's a new one. Do you like the color? Okay, perfect. I know just how much you love stuffed animals. You were so kind to give your favorite one to the girl who needed comfort. I love how sweet and caring you are. Look, you are very special to me. I also love how you let me take care of you, darling. You are now my girlfriend. I will never leave you. I am always by your side, even when you're not aware of it. I have breakfast and lunch with you every day in my mind. If I'm not around, and as I feed you dinner, you don't know how much it means to me. I will never leave you, darling. Even though you have cancer, you are still the most beautiful girl in the world to me. I want to cuddle with you. I want to be here for you when you need a shoulder to lie on. I want to stroke your arms and tell you everything will be okay. I love you, darling. You make me the happiest boy. I will have to be with you at all times, or I don't feel complete. You complete my love. You are my chosen girlfriend, and I mean it with all my heart. We can get out of here, together. I'll take great care of you, darling. I already have everything all set up for you. You are in very capable hands. I love how much you trust me. We will play all of your favorite board games whenever you want. I know everything that makes you happy. And just know that I will not hurt you. I will never sedate you. And I will never tie you up. You are my princess. Therapist or psychotherapist? I happen to be a psychotherapist. Thanks for choosing me, beautiful. I, I, I mean, thanks for choosing me, young lady. Out of all the rest of options you had, Let's get started. How are you feeling today? Okay. As you already know, beautiful, I'm Dr. Senpai. <clears throat> I'm a licensed mental health professional who specializes in helping you, my client, develop better cognitive and emotional skills, reduce symptoms of mental illness, and cope with various life challenges to improve your life. 
You said that you were feeling depressed today. Do you know what's causing you to feel that way? Okay. Would you like to elaborate a bit more for me? Okay. I understand, sweetheart. Feeling sad is a natural emotion for all humans. Don't beat yourself up. What exactly is causing your ultimate sadness right now? Okay. That's why interpersonal therapy, also called IPT, is best for your situation. Thanks for coming to your scheduled session today. You've missed the first scheduled session. I could be punishing you right now for that. But I'll give you a free pass this time. That slipped out, beautiful. Please excuse my forightness. You are the most stunning, beautiful creature the good Lord has made. I will help you get through this state of depression. IPT is a short term treatment, so after several sessions, I will reevaluate you to see how you're progressing with this particular form of treatment. But if this doesn't work, we will try something else. Anyway, IPT will help you understand your underlying personal issues that are bothering you and causing your depression. Like resolved grief. Losing a loved one can be very hard. Changes in your life can also be very hard to deal with. Whether it's personal or work-related. Conflicts with significant others can also be very hard to deal with. And problems relating to others in general. You have listed all or most of those issues as reasons for your sadness and depression today. And you've also stated that most of the time, you aren't depressed. This form of treatment can, or will, help you learn healthy ways to express your emotions, improve communication, and also help you relate to others. It is most often used to treat depression. So, this is also why I recommend this type of treatment for you, darling. Dr. Senpai will get you out of this depressed state of mind. By hook or by crook. Alright, moving along. Do you have a family history of depression? Okay. There's no specific genes that we can look at and trace back to depression. But, if your family members have had depression, you are more likely to also experience depression. Are you dealing with physical illness or any health issues? Okay. Are you on any medication? Okay. Are you doing drugs? Okay. Are you using alcohol? Okay. I see why you're depressed. I'll be taking you home with me after this session to make sure that you're cared for properly. Looks like Dr. Senpai has found love. You will no longer be depressed, darling. Say goodbye to depression. Now, all you will have to worry about is me. Look, darling. I'm a doctor. I care about you deeply. I will only give you advice that will improve your health. Do you trust me? Okay, then. Try my recommendations. See how they work for your anxiety attacks. You've only been coming to see me for a short while. 
But I care for you like you've been one of my longtime patients. I actually care about you a lot more than a longtime patient. But let's stay on track right now. I'll tell you all about that after this session. Have you been avoiding caffeine like soda and other caffeinated beverages? Well, you know it's an anxiety inducer, so limit your intake. You can be very sensitive to it. Don't let that slip your mind, okay, honey? Okay, you can do it. Feelings of anxiety can be so overwhelming that you might just feel the urge to have a cocktail to help you relax. But avoid alcohol. Alcohol changes the levels of serotonin and other neurotransmitters in the brain. It's only going to make your symptoms worse. You may feel more anxious after the alcohol wears off, honey. Here's an idea. Write it all out. One of the worst aspects of anxiety is not knowing why you feel nervous in the first place. Here's an example. You could be laying on a perfect beach with the ocean waves lapping in the distance and still feel worried for absolutely no reason. That's when writing can help. Writing is a very effective way to explore how you feel, especially if talking out loud feels impossible. I want to see you get better. I'm here for you. If you ever feel anxious, I know this is against policy, but here's my phone number. You can always call me, sweetie. Anyway, study shows that keeping a journal is actually a healthier way to deal with negative feelings and helps reduce stress. Another study proved that anxious test takers who, before the test, wrote some notes about how they were feeling and how they were thinking, performed better than those who didn't write. So that is something for you to consider that will reduce stress levels. Now this. This. Um. Uh, the next thing we'll discuss. Well. Um. Th this is my favorite recommendation. Use fragrance. Essential oils, specifically lavender. I love the smell of lavender. It's well known for calming. Can you believe that there's an oil that can calm you? I've seen it work with patients in the past. Keep a small bottle of lavender on hand. For the scent, for when you feel anxious thoughts brewing. Maybe put some on before our next appointment. I'm sure it will smell very, very nice on you. Anyway, hon. Smelling lavender oil relaxes you. So give it a try. Talk to someone who gets it. Well, that's covered since you're talking to me. Send me a text or give me a call telling me how you're feeling. My line is open to you, darling. I think I'm in love. I'm here for you. If you ever even think about feeling anxious, I'll be here for you. You have captured my heart like no other. Oh yes, let's get back on track. Use positive affirmations every day. Tell yourself that the feeling is only temporary when you're feeling anxious. That will make you feel calm, especially if on the verge of a panic attack. Also, hon, remind yourself that you've survived panic attacks in the past. And acknowledge that it's all going to be okay, as long as you're patient with yourself. Are you following me? Okay. Awesome. One of the most effective ways to treat anxiety 
is exercise. Simply walk it off. I'd love to see you walk. Sometimes when you're experiencing anxiety, it's because of a buildup of adrenaline. Walking can help you use up that extra energy. I, Dr. Senpai, can always help you with that. Anyway, my love, as we wrap up the session for today, keep in mind that walking outside in the fresh air can prove your well-being. Drinking water. Because not drinking enough water can make your anxiety symptoms even worse. Dehydration can cause heart limitations. This can lead to the feeling of panic, which may trigger an anxiety attack. Take a few moments to relax. Drink a large glass of water. See if you feel any better. I'd like to know how all of these suggestions work for you. So, let me know after using some of those anxiety-reducing methods. And darling, turn off your phone. Being constantly plugged in is a modern-day curse. Don't be afraid to turn off your phone every once in a while. Have a bath. A hot bath with Epsom salt is great for relaxing your muscles, which can also help relax your mind. And eat something. Don't forget to eat. Low blood sugar can make you feel nervous, irritable, and anxious. I can cook for you, baby. Now, sweetheart, controlling anxiety takes time. There's no quick fix for anxiety. It may feel like an uphill struggle. But by gaining awareness of what causes your symptoms and getting help from me, you can manage your symptoms. Some of the hacks I gave you may or may not work. Just try them and see what works best for you. Practice makes perfect, so don't stop trying to find out ways that work for you. And remember, breathe. Take deep breaths. Most importantly, pray. Yes, pray. Say your prayers. Pray without ceasing. Prayer works wonders for anxiety. Let's wrap up this session for today. I'm Dr. Senpai. Dr. Senpai is always here for you, honey. This session is on me. I will not charge my new girlfriend for therapy. Welcome back. Great to see you. It's been a year since the last routine physical. A year too long. How are you feeling? Are you in any pain? Your lower back? Okay, good. I, I mean, uh, very bad. What happened? Lifting a heavy box would do that to you. On a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the highest level of pain, what is your level of pain right now? Okay, I can take care of that for you. I'm really good with massages. I'll get the kinks right out. Oh yes, let's get back on track. My mind wandered there for a minute. Please, excuse me. Try Tiger Bomb or Biofreeze. They are both good for the symptoms you described. If those don't work, I'll write you a prescription for those muscle spasms. Don't lift anything heavy, okay? I have good news, and I have bad news. Which do you want first? Okay. Here's the bad news. You did semi-okay on the eye exam, not 20-20 vision. You had some problems with seeing and reading smaller lines. You may need corrective lenses, but don't worry. I will send a referral over to the optician. So follow up with them to schedule an eye exam at their office as soon as possible. Here's the good news. 
You did very well on your hearing exam. Your hearing is at 100%. Since I haven't seen you in the past year between routine checkups for any urgent visits, I presume you're in good overall health. Or at least haven't been sick enough to come pay me a visit. Which is always good news. Alright, you know the routine. Get undressed, put on this gown, and I'll be back in in a few minutes. Okay. Um... <clears throat> it's getting a little warm in here. Are you warm? Okay, fine. I think my temperature just increased suddenly. I'm fine. Thanks for asking. Other than straining your back, have you had any falls or any accidents in the past two weeks? Okay, great. Let me check your temperature. Ninety-eight point six. Perfect. All right. Stand straight. Shoulders back. Let's get your height. Okay, looking good. You've grown at the correct rate for your age throughout the years. And I think you've reached your max height. All right. Step on the scale and stand still. Don't move. Okay, looking good. Now have a seat and relax. Hold your arm out, and let me take your blood pressure. Okay, good looking. 117 over 28. Okay, sit up here and breathe in slowly. Breathe out. Take one breath in for me. Breathe out. Okay, I hear a little bit of a wheeze in there, but nothing too bad. Have you been using your inhaler? Okay. Make sure you use your inhaler if you have shortness of breath. I will send your prescription refill to the pharmacy. And you should be able to pick it up today. Tilt your head back a bit. Open wide and say ah. Okay, tonsils looking good. I'm going to put my fingers on the side of your throat. On both sides to check your glands. Everything feels normal. No swelling of any lip nods either. Sit still. Breathe regularly. Let me listen to your heart. Sounds good. You have a strong heart. How is school going? That's good. Have you picked up any new hobbies lately? Okay, great. Interesting. How are you enjoying doing that? Awesome. How many hours of sleep are you getting every night? That's not so good. Not good enough. The human body needs between six to eight hours of sleep to properly function. How many cups of water are you drinking every day? Okay. How much juice do you drink? Okay. Are you eating your fruits and vegetables? Okay. How about milk? Are you drinking milk? Okay. 
How much? All right. How many hours per week are you exercising? Okay, try to increase that. You should be taking close to 10,000 steps per day. To keep the blood circulation going properly, I have checked your records while you were in the waiting room. You are already up to date on all of your vaccines, so no shots for you today. I know how much you look forward to that part of your visit. <laughs> but you do have to go down to the lab. On the first floor for blood work. I need you to get your blood drawn. I want to check your comprehensive metabolic panel ranges. And especially your hemoglobin. To see your blood sugar levels. Yes, it's necessary. The receptionist will give you a sheet of paper to take down to the lab on your way out. And don't worry, it will just be a quick stick. Our full blood mist is the best in the state. He gets right into the good vein on the very first try. All right. Is everything okay at home? Do you feel safe? Okay. Dr. Senpai is here for you if that ever changes. Here's my card. My cell phone number is written on the back. If you ever need a ride or anything, don't hesitate to call. Oh, yes. <laughs> Let me get back on track. Are you sexually active? Okay. Have you had any sexual contact with another person? You know, like rubbing body parts, humping, oral, things like that. Okay, wonderful. Glad to know that you are still pure. Do you smoke? Have you ever smoked? Okay. Very good. Do you drink alcohol? Okay. Do you ride in a car with any friends who smoke, drink alcohol, or use drugs? Okay. Very good. Do you use drugs? Okay. Very good. Have you had your first kiss? Well, you are 19. Just thought I'd add that last question off record. Just between us. You have very soft-looking lips. Most patients normally have a crush on their doctor. And I remember, you were one of my patients who did. Look at me in the eyes and tell me you don't want me to kiss you right now. If you do that, I won't. I take your silence as a yes. Mm. Oh me, oh my. <sighs> oh, okay, okay. Get dressed before something more happens. Because I would love to take your virginity. Don't forget to check out up front on your way out. And schedule your next annual exam while you're at it. I look forward to seeing you this time next year. Keep up the good work. Always take your vitamins. Remember to pick up your prescriptions from the pharmacy. We have for you that listed in our database. Okay, darling. You have my card with my personal cell phone number written on the back. Call me when you need me. Dr. Senpai is here for you. Your lips are as soft as they look. Kiss you later.